Let's drink some wine. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Brian Hinchberger. And I'm Paul Hinchberger. We're the Wine Brothers, coming at you in, uh, in the year of plenty. Uh, we've got so many cool things to show you, and this in particular is a really exciting new project that Bonivant is working with. Um, it is in Galicia. So Galicia is basically the northwest zone of Spain. Um, if you think of how Portugal on the Iberian Peninsula sits on the west coast of Spain, runs up the whole west side, except a little bit up top, that's Galicia, if you were to just continue it on. In fact, uh, many may say that Galicia should be part of Portugal, because they, their, their, their cultures, their, their food is a little bit more similar. In fact, if you ever go to Galicia, eat the bread. Yeah, the French have great bread, but no, I'm serious. It is amazing. It's insane bread. Um, so, so this estate, uh, this is called Ailala. Um, Ailala is a project by this fantastic woman named uh, Inma Pazos, um, and she's up in the Ribeiro. So Ribeiro is this is this lovely little zone, kind of um, southern portion of Galicia but much more off the water than, say, Rias Baixas, where you have all the Albarino country. Um, and this zone is known for kind of fresher style reds, which we'll taste. Um, it's known for some cool kind of field blend whites and such and different things. Um, but this, this project, this estate right here, um, does only these two wines, the Blanco and the Tinto. The Blanco uh, is 100% Trechadura. Um, Treshadura, uh, Paul, what do you think of Treshadura? Have you, have you had many? I don't know anything about it. Oh. I've had this once before, but it's been a long time. And okay, okay, cool. Treshadura is basically um, an indigenous varietal in this portion of the world, you know, kind of northern Portugal, uh, Galicia zone. Um, oftentimes you'll blend it, you'll see it blended with Albarino, Albarino, um, uh, Loreiro, different things like this. Uh, down in Portugal, it's uh, Trajadura. Um, and what I love about this grape is, I mean, as, as you'll notice from Paul's kind of intensity that he's going into this wine, there's so much going on. Let, let me taste this. What, 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 are you, what are you having? Well, oh my God. there's a lot of lychee. But the first thing that came to my mind from the nose was that um, from the, the look of it and the nose, it kind of reminded me of like dry Riesling. Because it has the, the like light bubbles like that uh, German Riesling has naturally. Um, and then like the nose is kind of very aromatic and, Whoa. um, Whoa. Yeah. That's cool. But then it has like different fruit characteristics than Riesling does, but it's like, has kind of a s interesting parallel to it for me. Absolutely. And the, and the, the mouthfeel, the texture of this wine has, it has, uh, kind of, it's, it's, it's pillow like and soft on the palate while still kind of having, you know, uh, kind of the, the grip of the fruit as well, you yeah. know? Um, we don't have this super cold right now, and it's kind of awesome. I'm getting a little bit of almond skin on this. Mm. I did have almonds earlier, so maybe there's some sort of influence almond there. almond skin gets caught in your throat. <laughs> but, you know, this is... This when is almond skin gets like, trapped in the glass, This is the tasty right. version. This is the tasty skin. version of the almond skin. Um, Trishadora is, you know, this aromatic varietal. There's a lot of floral quality of this. Um, I mean, I, I love the, the labeling on these because there's just this explosion of color and, you know, fantasy almost. It's like a unicorn bursting from the sky. And, and I, I, I think that this wine in particular is really cool because it's not like everything else. You know, there, there is Trechadura 100% varietals out there, but not a whole lot. And in Ribeiro, Ribeiro is, I mean, if I can recommend, you know, when people think, oh, I'm going to go to visit Spain. Let's go to Madrid. Let's go to Sevilla. Let's go to Barcelona, you know. But if I could tell you one place in Spain that I would highly recommend, it is Ribeiro. It is gorgeous. It's lush forest. There's there's uh, these this confluence of rivers that comes together. So the Minho, uh, the Avia River. So this is in the Avia Valley, 
Um, there's a lot of elevation change that sits between about 200 and 220 meters. Um, really cool terraced vineyards, big beautiful areas where you know the the they don't get nearly the intense rain that you see from you know right there on the coast. But you do get some good precipitation, but also like warm summer times. It's a really gorgeous, lush zone. The energy there just makes your heart kind of happy, feel good. Um, the soil types there, you know, Galicia has so much granite. The amount of rock of granite there is incredible. Um, and this zone has a really granite base. Um, it's, it's the local term is called sobrego. And uh, so, there, but there's also a little sand, a little clay, but with this granite base that is uh, really fantastic for freshness in wine. So not only does that, do these whites, do these reds have a lot of fruit and a lot of body and a lot of, a lot of uh, substance and structure, but also this freshness that I think is really popular from Spain right now. In fact, this red is like what people are jamming on. In, in this American world right now, we want to drink Spanish reds. We want fresh, we want light, we want vivacious. Paul, talk to me. But it's like, this is really good. Oh my Very god! Very floral and um, and earthy and fruity. Cool. It's, it's kind of a really well, perfectly balanced wine. It's it's great. This is pr so. This is. I'm not going to call this 100% Sozan, um, uh, because if I did, maybe I'd lie. But it, this is <laughs> this is a lot of Sozan, uh, <laughs> which which down in Portugal is known as Sozão. So you know Sozão, mm. Sozan, Sozão. Mm. You say banana, I say. Ban banana and and this is mostly Sozão or Sozan, but uh, a little bit of maybe Brown Salau, uh, Farol, um, Caño Longo, kind of these these more native indigenous grapes of Galicia of Northwest Iberia, essentially. Um, but what's what's cool about this wine? All is varieties that you probably have never heard of, unless you're a super wine geek like my brother. No, 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 no. <laughs> 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 anyway, anyways, uh, I, I want to I want to taste on this. this the, the nose is so pretty. It's it, just it, it really is it's aromatic, so, like you said, very I, floral. I can't get over the white. Actually, I I kind of want some of this wine if I can barter for my services. You can do that, my friend. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, the temperature on this is just spot on. Is it? I mean, Paul's Paul's cellaring system here at his his wonderful abode is. Right. Uh, is it a boat or bathroom, actually? Or is it a place? I don't know, but let's not talk about that at the moment. <laughs> yeah, good, good call. <laughs> um, so Inma Pazos is doing this fantastic project. I love it. Mm. She's working a lot with um, uh, um, Jose Luis uh, Sebio, who's doing an amazing project. Watch, make sure to watch our Vinos uh, de Costas video because those wines are insane. He's an incredible incredibly talented winemaker and so she's working a lot with him as well they have just this wonderful collaboration up in the Avia Valley of Ribeiro you know tucked in all this gorgeous forest these amazing vineyards this is all biodynamic fruit also um, mm. I'm not sure if you've gotten into the world of what organics is and biodynamics and natural wine and blah 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 blah, blah yada 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 our you know the Bon Vivant philosophy is we want to drink wine that we want to put in our body something that's good, that's something that is is honestly eco consciously made. Um, and these guys are biodynamic. If if a quick little one sentence is it takes organics to another level and it gets on a very universal scale, uh, making sure that everything uh, in our rhythm and in the cosmos is all come making sense for what's happening in the in the vineyard. Um, and so these are all harvested on. Uh, the appropriate day for red, they are, they always harvest and bottle on fruit days. Um, the white always harvested and bottled on flower days. Um, if you don't know what that means, check it out, look it up. It's kind of fun. It's it's a it's a neat thing, and honestly, it's I, I love it in drinking wine. And right now, I'm just gonna call this an amazing day. It smells like a flower day. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers.